the, the leaves on a hickory tree, all the different hickories, are compound leaves. This is actually one leaf right here made up of individual leaflets, in this case seven. And uh, this is in the same family with walnuts and pecans. Mm -hmm. They all have similar uh, compound leaves. So this is just one leaf with individual leaflets along a main midrib stem. Number 11. Throughout the Ozarks, we have several kinds of hickory trees. Uh, there's a half dozen or more. And uh, this one is probably the most common variety uh, in this immediate area where things are kind of lean. Uh, you drop down in the river valley, and there's species that are more common in the rich dirts and the alluvial valleys. Uh, this, the, up on the dry, lean, rocky slopes of the Ozarks, this one is quite common. This is black hickory. And the hickories uh, were useful in many ways. Uh, the wood is very strong and resistant to breaking. Uh, so it could be used for scaffolding. Uh, it was used for wagon tongues, uh, several things where you don't want things to break. It was not used in construction, though, because it does not resist decay. It rots very quickly, and insects like to use it. So uh, it had its specialty applications. Now, one of the other applications was it was used for smoking meat because the smoke imparted a distinctive flavor. So hickory smoked meats are still famous today. And often here in the Ozarks, particularly in this area, they would blend uh, green hickory branches with uh, sassafras branches to add a distinct flavor to meat. Mm -hmm. And you used to could buy uh, bacon made here in the Ozarks that was still smoked that way until recently. Uh, the other thing about hickory wood is it's one of the most efficient fuel woods that we have in North America. There's probably nothing better, all things considered, for burning in your stove or fireplace uh, to get the most efficient amount of heat for the least amount of wood. Now in a fireplace, hickory wood does pop a little bit and throw sparks. It's perfect mm -hmm. in a stove though. And even cut down green, a hickory wood fire is a very efficient fire. You can burn it green and still get very efficient use, uh, but dry is better of course. Uh, some hickories are nearly impossible to split. This would be one of them. Other hickories split like a knife through butter. They're, they're one of the most fun woods to split that there is. So it depends on the species. Uh, bitternut hickory splits easy. Black hickory just about as hard to split as it comes. 